Hey everyone, I'm testing mic. Okay, that's working well. Uh, just doing a microphone test. Okay, it's weird. We're doing this by myself for the first time. Okay, looks like things are working. Okay, back to the countdown timer. Ang video na to ay handog ni cdkoffers.com. Marami kang mahahanap na iba't ibang uri ng software dito. May games, apps, activation codes for Windows 10. Check out our video on CDK Offers in the video description. Mabilis, mura, and syempre legit dito. Madali lang mag-order, search for the software you need, add to cart, check out, daan ka sa payment options nila, wala pa isang minuto, finished. May legit working CD key ka na sa software na pinili mo. Gamitin ang aming promo code para makakuha pa ng extra 20% discount sa purchase mo. Kung naghanap ka ng mura, legit, and original software, check out cdkoffers.com. Okay, hi, uh, this is Rafael from Hardware Sugar. Uh, since I am piloting by myself, I need to watch myself from my old phone to make sure the camera is good. Okay, so, oh, did that even come out? All right, so it's a bit clumsy to do it by myself. So, uh, although I have three monitors, actually use them to check myself out because I'm facing the camera I'm not facing the monitor so I need to use an old iPhone to see to watch the stream simultaneously okay so um, someone asked me what I'm what microphone I'm using I'm using the Corsair Pro headset I'm using the Corsair Void Pro headset and I think it is screwing up as usual, but uh, well, I'm gonna have to stick with it because I need to move around. Usually, I use the Blue Yeti, and this is the best microphone you could get. Uh, that like what the hell? This thing keeps saying mic on, mic on. Hello, I'm just gonna. I might just end up just using this and not carrying it around. The only problem with this is it's not very portable. Uh, but really, the sound is really crisp. I'm planning on making a video comparison so that you can see what it was like before I started using the... Kakainis tong microphone na to ah. Parang when Anton uses uh, the Corsair Void headset, it plays nice. Yeah. Let me just check the comments. Oh, no, mic is malfunctioning, sabi ni George. Okay. See, I told you, this is a piece of junk. But anyway, it's wireless. Uh, parang it's okay na. All right. Okay, 
So I just want to give a shout out to our latest um, subscribers. Uh, shout out to Prince Mamhot, Don Don D5, Lin Erilav, and Dom H. Thank you for subscribing on YouTube. All right, wait. I'm just gonna switch that on to the. I'm gonna switch to the. The Yeti. Because this microphone sucks. Hello. Okay. So actually, actually, as I, as I was saying, the um, our YouTube community subscribers have really piled up. Originally, we only had like ten. Now we have like around uh, thirty-five. So thank you so much. If you can only hear right now what my headset is saying, keep saying mic on, mic off, mic. It's I don't know what's happening to this headset. But uh, if you have watched my reviews of uh, the Corsair Void Pro, you'll know that I really hate this microphone. Okay. Um, so this damn that Yeti quality. Yeah. See, see, it's like night and day difference. Um, okay. So, right now, we're just going to do a ve See, I forget. So, I'm just going to do a very casual um, intro about our setup. Because I've been reading some of the YouTube comments, and people sometimes think that we have very expensive gear. Um, okay, fine. This is a little bit expensive. That's true. This is... <laughs> uh, this is on How much is this? I bought this on Amazon for maybe an equivalent of 7,500 pesos. So this probably is the most expensive piece. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to break off my microphone. You know what? All right, good. All right, I don't need the microphone anyway. As long as, long as you guys can hear me. Okay. So, um, this is the most expensive uh, piece of equipment of my personal. Um, studio when I do videos uh, and I really think that the microphone is a great investment mostly because when you're making videos there are two important things the first one is the video quality so do you have a camera that can generate that can do good good enough shots because really you don't need to have a really great camera and second is do you have a good way on picking up audio and really this is You'd think you won't need to have an expensive uh, microphone, but um, it's really worth the investment. And it's actually not that big of a investment because there are like shotgun microphones that go for twenty thousand pesos, and this one for only like seven five, seven five to eight thousand pesos if you get it off Amazon. Um, I think it's a really great deal, and it just looks so it looks so cool, really. And then there's an, even an option here where you spin it over. So if you want to conduct a podcast with just using one microphone, you can. You just put the microphone on the table and then the other parties for four people can talk and the microphone picks up the audio from all four people as though the person is directly talking to it. So it's a simple enough design microphone and it gets so many things right. Okay, let me just check the... Ah, uh, why not camera place on top of the monitor? Because I don't have a, I have never owned a computer camera. What you're, what I'm using right now is the very same camera that I use to shoot uh, our videos, which is the S21 Ultra. Before the S21 Ultra, the main camera that I used for filming, for appearing in all the live broadcasts is my Galaxy Note 9. So I don't, we don't own a fancy camera. We never owned a fancy camera. I've never even owned a computer camera because I'm so cheap that I don't wanna buy an extra thing. So right now I can't even read my messages because they're all on, uh, I can't even, I see I forgot the damn microphone. I can't even read my messages because I'm using the S21 Ultra as my camera. I'm not using a computer camera. And prior to all that, I was using the Galaxy Note 9. Yeah, yeah, uh, for real, KC. Uh, the, the Samsung cell phones are really great. My, if you watch, however, my S21 Ultra review, my comment though with the current cell phone is that it overheats. 
So one of my concerns nga while even using this cam this phone as my camera is baka mag shut down siya. But parang it doesn't shut down uh if I'm on WhatsApp video call or if I'm just using a uh, or if I'm doing this. I'm using an application called Android Droid Cam. Droid Cam. So actually if you want to see what the camera looks like there, I have a mirror. So, yeah, I'm not lying. I don't use any fancy cameras. I'm just using my cell phone. And uh, there, this is the footage from the application Droid Cam. If you do not have, uh, if you do not have a computer camera, you really should uh, make use of your cell phone and uh, use a, a Droid Cam. Okay. All right. All right. So, uh, I've talked about the microphone. I've talked about my camera. However, what I haven't talked about yet are my is my tripod. So right now, right now, oh, uh, pardon my slippers. Right now, I'm using this uh, this really great tripod actually from from Shopee. I'll list all everything in the. Um, in the video description when this goes live and it looks simple enough but it's very sturdy and it can go really high this isn't even the maximum height it can probably reach up to here if it really wants uh and i got this for what i think this was i think this was 700 pesos but um i didn't want to buy such an expensive tripod uh, but instead what i got were these 350 peso tripods and I broke, I broke four of the 300 peso tripods in a matter of months. This one is a lot sturdier, and I think it's well worth the extra investment. I'll leave a link in the description. So, I got the microphone, tripod, camera, and... And... This is... And let me just check the oh yeah, shout out loader loader dipper and shout out itx addict shout out lian magnae hello hello i always recognize your names because every time i shoot a new video um every time i release we release a new video we have to go over all the new subscribers and thank you guys for always being so regular that it it feels like home, really, uh, recording your names onto the next video. Which, by the way, we're releasing a video about these monitors um, this week. I'm aiming for Thursday. So, uh, right now, this is my next favorite tool. This is the Osmo Gimbal DJI. And uh, it really makes the best B-roll. Because it can, it can even track... You put your cell phone on it, and then essentially it keeps the phone, it keeps the camera stable throughout the entire time that you're shooting. And you can do B-roll shots where, um, oh, here, I'll simulate it. Let me put the, let me put the S21 Ultra on it. Okay. Let me Okay, S21 Ultra is going on the gimbal. Okay, now I'm going to turn it on and it's gonna go robotic. There we go. There we go, all right. So, um, this is, for instance, if I wanna do a, a uh, let's say, what example do I wanna get? Ah. Okay, how about this? Let's say I want to do a B-roll of my Darth Vader. So my Darth Vader is here. And then after that, all I need to do is... All right, well, let's ignore my rosary. Okay, move it to the right. There, that's all, that's, that's purely the gimbal. Okay, it can also go up. 
this is how I get steady shots. There I finally we lost um oh hold on my droid cam died. Hold on. Alright, there we go. So uh DJI is a really great gimbal. Um simple to use. Uh, it's powered by a USB-C and actually it does a really cool thing where it, it can even track people. Uh, DJI, the DJI can actually track people as they move past it. So if I want to track, for instance, my dog, all I need to do is encircle my dog in the cell phone. And then the DJI gimbal will automatically attract the purse, uh, the the dog in uh, the shot. So there, I use this every day and that tripod. So recap: Blue Yeti microphone, awesome. Tripod, seven hundred pesos. Third is my gimbal, the DJI, which I forget how much this costs. But on this one was. I forget. I'll ask Anton. Um, uh, five thousand to six thousand, but it's really worth it, eh? Because if you imagine that a regular YouTube camera would cost, uh, it would cost easily like eighty to hundred thousand, and then here I am with things that I already that are supplementing what I already own. I'm using a S twenty one Ultra. If you guys are only joining me now, our camera of choice is the S twenty one Ultra. It's a great camera. It's a great cell phone. And I don't need to buy a separate camera. It does everything for me. The only things that I need to buy are things which help complement it. And oh, and that's great. Because uh, why am I going to spend on something that I don't really need? I mean, uh, with these tools, I can save maybe 80,000 pesos overall and still get great quality. There are a lot of YouTubers actually out there who... Um, use just their iPhone, so the iPhone 12 Pro Max nila, and that's a great phone also. My problem lang with Apple is after using like four iPhones is masyadong restrictive kasi yung, anin, yung iOS. Like if I want to transfer videos to my PC, sometimes it won't read the iPhone. Actually, not sometimes. Most of the times, it won't read the iPhone. Uh, it doesn't pick up, and then after that, the video can't be edited. It needs to be reconverted by into another file. But uh, Apple for me makes it so difficult to do simple things. That's my biggest problem. So and it takes up time uh, to 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 onion to re-edit it and so forth before you even begin editing. What is best? OB okay. Okay, Sean, don't spam, okay? I'm going to answer your question, but if you spam again, I have to kick you out, right? No, no offense. Um, Sean, what do you call that? For streaming apps, uh, I guess OBS is king. But you know, OBS is only king because that's what everyone else uses, and that seems to be like the sort of king now. But it's actually not as easy as you think. For instance, if I'm streaming Call of Duty, for instance, and it's same, I'm streaming, I, my monitor is clocked at 360 hertz. If I stream, it jitters. You need to, it, parang in my eyes, it's 360 hertz, but in everyone else's, I'm like at 20 frames. So you need to go dig into the settings of OBS, and then you need to adjust it so that what, you're, what you are seeing is what everyone else is seeing. So it's a very complicated process of trial and error. Like, oh... Uh, like I like how I like how I record videos with OBS. I needed to go look up some guy on YouTube and be like and check. Ano yung dapat encode don sa settings para mataas ang frame rate. So I tried out three people. It took me maybe like eight hours to finally come up with a with a numerical system that some guy used. And then I got I used it. And then mukhang okay naman yung frames. But to be honest, 
I don't know what the hell I'm doing most of the time with OBS. That's why I'm just following other people. So yun nga, that's another thing. Uh, me and Anton, we're just learning as we go also. We're really early on. Um, thanks to all the subscribers. We're only at like, we're at 56,000 subscribers now. But really, um, we're really just beginning this whole thing. We're, um, we're just teaching what we know, but there's so many other things that we need to know more in order to teach more. What else we got here? Bandicam. Uh, Lian Magnaye. Yeah, Bandicam. Actually, I used Bandicam recently because of an OBS issue. OBS was not picking up uh, MSI Afterburner, and then I used Bandicam to fix it. If you check out uh, last November, I think, or last December, I don't know, January, I released a video on an OBS problem with Call of Duty and MSI Afterburner. So, um, uh, there. So, uh, Bandicam is another option, but it's old. It's old now. Okay. On my to-do list. Okay. So, uh, again, I if I didn't uh, announce... If I didn't announce um, the names properly, cause I, cause I, I forgot the microphone, uh, I want to welcome Prince Louis Mamhot, uh, super sub, Don Don D Five, super sub, uh, Lin Erlav, super sub, and Dom H as our new top fan. So thanks again for joining us and for subscribing to us. We really greatly appreciate it. And of course, all our usual. Um, Subscribers who always seem to be there for us when we release a live video, uh, Valiant Cashew Nuts included. Okay, so uh, just to recap, I talked about our camera, I talked about the tripod, talked about the microphone, I talked about the gimbal. Now let me talk about the things that we are planning to review this week. So, um, okay. uh, uh, wires, man, wires. Okay. See, that's why I wanted to use the Void Pro headset because I was going to walk around. Uh, okay, let me just pull out things individually. Okay, so this is the ROG Falchon. Now, this is a pocket, this is a miniature keyboard. Uh, as you can see, sorry, you know, usually sobrang, usually sobrang linis yung table ko, pero ever since these ASUS ROG monitors arrived, it's been really crazy here. I don't know if you can see all this shit, but like, you know, I like I like a clean minimalist desk setup and voila. Wala, wala time. <laughs> it's, it's, real, it's a real disaster here. So actually, I, you know, it sometimes sometimes getting new stuff is really fun because we get to play with new stuff. But after it gets here, it's it's also a lot of work and uh, anxiety, didn't it? Just look, waking up and seeing and just seeing this. But we just, you know, it's I mean, it's it's um it's fun, the man. Uh, but uh. After a while, you kind of just miss my old setup. Anyway, so um, what I want to talk about a little bit is my experience with the ROG Falchon. Um, here, let me let me turn it on. All right, so it's a uh, it's a wireless gaming keyboard, uh, and it's on Cherry switches. And to be honest, I, I'm really, I'm really, really liking this keyboard. The coolest part about the keyboard is the unique volume setting. So it's a touch screen, um, it's a touch screen thingy. So you just bring it up and down and it lowers the volume by itself. Uh, I'm a big fan of keyboards, I'm a big fan of keyboards that have independent volume controls, like um, the Corsair, uh, my, like my K Corsair K70. But this touchscreen thing is pretty unique. Because I really hate, uh, I, I'm not a function guy. I don't like pressing, I don't even know where the function button is. Is it shift or shit? 
<laughs> Basta, yung ano yan, to lower the volume, you function and then press the F7 or something here to lower the volume. I don't do that stuff. I hate that stuff. All right. So the RG Falchon is RGB, wireless, cherry, and it types really good. Um, here, let me, let me just be brief lang with the typing experience. Right. I'm going to Microsoft Word. Yeah. Okay, then after that, compare that to my uh, K17 uh, blue switches naman. All right. Okay, so the Falchon... Okay, so the point of the Falchon is... Um, is if you're a professional gamer, you don't want to lug a very big keyboard. Instead, you want to be able to carry, you know, your favorite keyboard on the go, anytime. Like, let's say you want to go to your friend's house because my, uh, my LAN, LAN party. Even though, I don't know, it's not used to LAN party, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's meant for gamers who just want to pick up a keyboard that they are comfortable with and just go right away and it's not by bluetooth instead it's by um it's that 2.4 gigahertz thing now it's supposed to be faster than bluetooth but my problem with that is that depending on where i plug it in i can't it, it seems to disconnect so that's what's gonna go on in my review i really love the keyboard i like the compact factor mukhang minimalist siya but for it's really expensive like it's like at 9500 pesos but I, I myself cannot justify buying a keyboard this small even though however i do like that it's wireless because i hate wires talaga i hate them to death i mean just just look at this look at this mess all right so um i'm always in favor of wireless and uh well i might change my mind okay let me check MX Blue Pill na lang, ITX Addict. I agree, MX Blue all the way. Next is, I need to review this ROG mouse. This is the ROG Chakram Core. Let me see. Okay. This is the ROG Chakram Core. And uh, what sets this apart from my, from what sets this apart from the mouse that I use, which is the Corsair Iron Claw, is that well my iron claw is wireless this one isn't however it's this very narrow platform if you can see it's like natatakot nga ako na baka masira lang to like it could just get bent but it's it's more sturdy than that but it's very thin and it's really a place where you know na your thumb is supported and then it has this unique mouse scroller thing which by the way i shouldn't do because it's activating something on my computer um my this is an okay mouse so far my biggest problem though is ito, ito this is my biggest problem with rog mice i don't understand why why an rog does this but the dpi setting is at the bottom so if you want to switch from sniper to regular you need to stop and then spin it over and then pin dot but who in the world does that in a real time situation so there. Uh, next, what I need to review, which are upcoming. Is, is the Asus Zen Gimbal. So uh, Asus was kind enough to ask us if we wanted to review a gimbal. And I said, well, you know. My experience the come is a gimbal, diba? So yes, yeah, again, go, go, Asus. So uh, I haven't opened it yet, and I'm gonna do a video comparison on which of the two, the DJI or the Asus Zen gimbal, are which one is more interesting and uh, capable of use for a normal YouTuber or vlogger. 
Uh, I want to tackle a personal uh, request. Some people ask us why we seem to be reviewing a lot of ASOS stuff. Like, take a look. Because someone said to George Kanina. Yes, the RTX 3080 is not a myth. They are real. They are real, and this is what is powering the three 360 hertz monitors right now. So again, we the reason as to why we review a lot of Asus products is because Asus likes to send us stuff to review, and they don't pay us. Like kami as new YouTube as new YouTubers who were you know even though fifty thousand kami that's not a lot. So we're really just starting out, and if we didn't, if we don't have things to talk about, I think we won't have a YouTube channel. We need the products really in order to even have any content to begin with. Like I can't afford to have a 2080 and a 3080 and a 3070 and swap it out every two weeks for a video. Dikaya, dikaya, just cannot afford. So what uh, what companies do is they lend uh, um, vloggers products for them to generate content for free. In return, we're allowed to say anything we want about the about the, what do you call it? About the products. Like you know, my biggest I've already reviewed the ROG Keris, that mouse. And you know, yung problem dun is yung DPI dun sa baba. I mean it's very impractical. I don't understand how a professional gaming company could decide to place the DPI at the bottom of the mouse instead of the side. Which by the way, uh the ASOS M3 mouse does, which is the lower end the month spectrum of um, mice from ASOS. They did it right if you watch our review. So again, we do a lot of ASOS reviews because ASOS is ASOS Philippines is really has been really kind to us to actually give us the opportunity to to have content because they provide us the products and then they pick it up afterwards. Um, personally, I have reached out to Samsung. I've reached out to LG. And so far, um, so far, our, our only success right now is with ASUS Philippines. And I really want to credit and thank ASUS Philippines because they they give they give opportunity to people who are just starting out. And not all companies are like that. You might think that just because ASUS is a big company, nah, they can just afford to do it. They could just afford to give every YouTuber an RTX 3080 and have them review it. But if that was the case, then how come LG doesn't send us their really big ass monitors? Oh, big fan of an LG monitor. I'm a big fan of Samsung products. Like um, I have a Samsung monitor and I'm using a Samsung cell phone, but they don't send us products. And I guess we're just not big time enough for them. So, but Asus uh, is kind enough to recognize the smaller guys, i.e. us, and to give us a shot. So for those uh, for those viewers who are accusing us of an in, of uh, faking our reviews for ASOS, we're really not. We're we're just really just generating content because they sent us products that are cool and hell, it's fun. I mean, who who wouldn't want to write? Who wouldn't want to do a video review about three ROG monitors, right? Because each one of these monitors, I think, is seventy thousand pesos. So yeah, I mean, the opportunity was given to us small guys, and we're taking it. However, we also want to review other stuff. That's also why we uh, expanded our reviews to uh, chairs. If you saw my review on the the ergonomic chair from Concept, which is a uh, rather one of our popular videos now, we have a um, we have a new chair, a gaming chair from Sharky that that I'm supposed that I'm gonna begin reviewing, and I also reviewed. Uh, other stuff that's not Asus. Obviously, my man cave. Uh, I have a video about talking about my studio here, which is just my bedroom. And I talk about the couch. I talk about the chairs. I talk about uh, my table. This table is all is not sponsored by Asus. This is a table that I have wanted to build for seven years, and I finally found a a supplier who was willing to make it for me. Uh, I have a video of that. Okay, let me see. What else we got? Okay, Sana all. Oh, <laughs> ITX Addict says, ROG the best. Uh, ROG the best. Kaso, if, sa, sana all. Sa, sana we can all afford ROG stuff. 
but really, uh, the monitors, the the pa- uh, the monitor. By the way, the name of the monitor is ROG PG twenty five nine QNR three hundred sixty hertz. These are twenty four inch monitors, which were merged together by me so that I could make a I think seventy five inch uh, ultra wide. So. Uh, let me just check my checklist. Okay, we're at 9 p.m. All right. So S21 Ultra, Asus, uh, Gimbal, changing monitors, Y. All right. Yeah. All right. So before I start uh, gaming with the three monitors, uh, let me just go over the chat. Counting crash pa ng BTC. Oh, we're all waiting on that. Oh, thanks, George. Thanks, George of Ledo. Yeah, it's um, yeah. I mean, uh, it's you know, If you need to start, if you're starting out small, you need all the help you can get. However, you know, we don't want to compromise on on our on our reviews. I think more than once we've been offered a. We've been offered money to make a video review about a product. In fact, nga, they even offered us money, even though they didn't force us to make a positive review. I'm not gonna name the company, and no, it's not ASOS. And uh, we declined. We said uh, no, we don't do that. Uh, we don't. We don't. We don't sell off our. Well, we're not. I guess. I guess. I don't know. We're. We're not comfortable receiving money in exchange for making a positive review. In fact, now we're uncomfortable even receiving money in order to make a review. However, uh, that might change in the future. Uh, we might review products that uh, we've been paid for to review. However, we'll always say that it's paid for. However, we will never say good things about a product just because we've been paid. So uh, what I realized is that Sometimes we get so much stuff coming into the store. Like there are, there were three chair companies that wanted to send me a chair. And I'm like there's no way that I would tolerate having five chairs in my room, okay, for me to review. So they were offering that, "Oh yeah, why don't you we don't care what you say, but can you review the chair even though we pay, but you can say positive and negative stuff." Um so that's that was um that was you know that was in that was um that's something that we were we might do in the future because hey, well, I I'm up to my ears now on on products. We just can't review everything uh, speedily. Every yeah, I promise we won't be making we won't be making any reviews that are um, that are paid for paid for. Now we have to say nice stuff about them. All right. Uh, and and one last thing before I pull out the the big monitors for the for the gaming show is I want to tackle uh on a personal level what I do because parang people have a misconception that we are experts like super experts in the field. To be honest, we only started vlogging seriously. Maybe around June of last year. In fact, you haven't. I didn't even appear in any of the videos seriously until, uh, until October. I think my first video, which I edited, was the Asus K3, and then there. So talagang I learned how to video edit for the very first time in mga September. September, I learned video editing. My my educational background is. Literature, law. I have no educational background in business. I have no educational background in IT. So sometimes when people comment, ano yung, ano yung, ano yung educational pathway para maging uh, tech guru or maging tech engineer? And to, sa totoo lang, hindi ko alam. Kasi, <laughs> kasi I'm, I, I, I didn't come from that background even though I am semi in the tech, in the tech world. In short... Me and Anton are just ordinary dudes who like gaming, who like the gear, but we don't. We never formally studied 
in those areas. And I'm saying this because uh, lots of young kids feel like their college degree will dictate their life. And that cannot be further from the truth. So like lots of kids right now who are in who are in school, they're concerned about their career path. Na, oh my god, I take I think I know I'll take literature. Uh pero ano yung ano yung trabaho magsusulat maganin maging maging guru ako. And uh it's not true. You can do anything you want with uh with your college degree. It's really the it's really the perseverance to finish what matters. So like if I didn't learn the perseverance to finish, I wouldn't have taken the bar and I wouldn't have passed. Just like how I wouldn't force myself to learn a new skill, which is video editing, which by the way is a whole new different kind of animal. But what what um the important thing that unifies everything from my learn from what I learned in school is you have to start, you have to finish what you start. And so there. So those are for all the kids there. And also for an info you professionals who who feel who might feel trapped in their um in their work. You don't you can also sideline and do other things. I mean really it's so cheap now to start your own channel. You know, I just talked about now I use my cell phone, I use a seven hundred peso tripod, and you don't need to have this. I've I've watched other YouTubers now they're just using the microphone of their cell phone. So bring gun and quality. In the end, it's really the personality of the person who is um, who is who is talking in front of the camera that matters. I have a friend now, see, see Ken's cast. He just started out his channel um, two months ago, and now, uh, one thousand five hundred subscribers. Na siya. Oh, it's mind-boggling. Like, kame, it took us like a year to get a thousand. Sha, dalawang months lang. Because genuinely, uh, if you watch um, Ken's cast, he's just a really funny guy. And no, I have a better microphone than him. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because he's entertaining. He does an K-pop. Um, he, no, sorry, not K-pop. Uh, not for K-pop. He said it's. He does reaction videos of Twice, a Korean K-pop band. And I hope I hope he's not watching me explain this. Anyway, so again, yeah, uh, if you're Wherever you are in the corporate world, you can do other things and you can share what you know and um, you might not be as bored like what we do. Like like uh, even though Anton and I do other things on the side that are unrelated to tech, we can always go back to tech and we can always go back to the other things. All right. Let me check out the, the chat. Wise words. Yeah. ITX Addict, we are all nerds. Why Sir Anton and Sir Raf are very eloquent? Uh, George Robledo, it's because Anton and Rafael, myself, I just talked about myself in the third person, yes, is um, we were both professors at one point, him in Ateneo teaching literature, me in La Salle teaching literature, and then later law school. And um, we're used to talking to people because hey, we have to teach. So we're used to talking to people in the crowd. I'd like to think we weren't the type of teachers who just um, lectured all the way or read from a script. And there, major impromptu kami talaga. And and um, yeah, there was we learned so many things teaching kids. Uh, well, college kids, and that's also probably why lots of people started watching Anton's videos is because he tries to explain it in a way not. A, com- a normal person would be able to understand it because that's really the only way to teach. You can't teach a complex problem by talking about how complex it is. You need to make it relatable to every single person. Like if I'm gonna talk to my like I, I like if I'm gonna talk to my parents about a graphics card, I'm not gonna explain to them the different pro the different brands. Or onion, or how much a graphics card is faster from the other one. I'll talk about what it does. The graphics card gives visuals to the monitor. That uh, that's how basic you need to break it down. So anyway, uh, but one other thing is, even though we taught, to be honest, I don't know we're done also camera. Like like right now, like uh, I don't even know how many people are watching. Okay, so like there are forty three people watching. You know, when we were teaching in the classrooms. We could physically see how many people were watching and we could see who were interested, which, by the way, most of them were probably interested when I was talking. Uh, 
Yeah. Right. But uh, and we could see who were asleep. Here, I, I, you got you guys could literally be hundreds, or you could be no one. And that is a really intimidating thing, I must say. So no matter how eloquent I might sound, I am I am nervous in front of this camera. And because of the power it really has, like grabe, like you know, sometimes I get afraid. Of, I'm afraid of what what when that thing is on and when it's off. All right, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna check out the chats, and then if we don't have any questions there, I'll move on to the uh, gaming part. Uh, okay. All right, let me read the chats. Okay. Uh, uh, from Carl Mincenas. Tanong ko lang po kung how much po ang service fee for building PCs. We do not charge any service fee. We only charge for the PC parts. So, if your PC parts amount to 50,000 pesos, then your rig is just 50,000 pesos. In short, yung labor is free. However, we do not we do not install other shops parts. Two reasons. One because we don't make money out of that. And second, we have no idea where those parts are from. Baka defective yung parts, tapos binigay sa amin, tapos kami pa yung nagkamali dahil ano yun, hindi gumagana. So, wala. And we don't have control over the warranty over those parts that were given to you by a different store. The only exception we make is if we don't have the part and we allow it. So, for instance, if we have everything, we have the CPU, we have the case, we have the PSU, we have... Um, we have the motherboard, but wala kaming GPU, which, you know, is, you know, it's, I mean, you know, ganun talaga yung problema ngayon, wala nga mga GPU. Um, we, will, we will build your PC if we're lacking one part. And, uh, yun, that is still for free. So we want to be generous about it. And um, not to trump my own horn and to say Hardware Sugar is the best, because there are other stores that are also just as good. I don't know. Maybe not, not as good, but as forgiving. Na lang. I don't know. I don't know how what other store is most forgiving than us. Like I don't know. Sometimes we make a lot, we lose a lot of money because we're too nice. But anyway, uh, there are other stores who um, we. What was I saying? Something about building self warranty. Uh, oh yeah. Um, we don't make you wait. So, hindi kami Gim, uh, Gilmer's, Gil, Gil, Gilmore. Hindi kami Gilmore style na magiintay ka dun sa labas. No, we're all scheduled based. We are a safe haven from COVID 19 because if you want to have a PC built, you cannot come to us on the same day and uh, demand us to build a PC. No, we schedule it. Uh, rarely do we accept a walk in customer for a PC build, but for the most part, I tell the staff na, you know, um, don't rush. Don't feel rushed by the customer. Tell them to schedule it so that walang pila dun sa labas ng hardware store. Because I don't really care so much about having so many sales to the point na delikado na yung operation. Safety first. Like, for our staff, number one, priority. Number two, safety for you. And uh, yun nga, we try to we try to make it very well organized. Okay, let me read the chat again. Uh, BT less 15 lang nag watch ata. Thanks at the ITX addict. Sa uh, saan po na pupunta yung pera galing sa channel na to. Uh, Valiant Cashew Nuts, the money that go YouTube uh, YouTube ads goes to our AdSense account. So you can look up um, how that works. And then from the AdSense account, it goes to our account. Um, will you sell techware products soon? From Aris Carlos, especially cases nila. Uh, I'm very familiar with the techware cases. They're very popular. They look cool. Um, problem along is we don't sell them. We don't sell them because we don't have the space and we don't have the manpower. 
Techwear products are on the affordable side, meaning in order for us to make a profit, we need to sell like 30 of them as opposed to selling um, NZXT stuff. Now, in, if we can get a reasonable profit by just selling three. So parang 33, uh, 30 cases, now we need to sell to 30 customers or three cases that are more expensive, but we get to sell to three customers. So... Uh, if we had like a big warehouse and a lot of staff, we might get tech wear stuff. But right now we, di ka, di naman kaya. Eh. And then you know, um, if we took in if we took in other stuff, we might not our warranty, our warranty policy might degrade because ma overwhelm yung mga yung staff namin dahil yun nga. Uh, we'd rather we'd rather sell products which are on the pricier end because it's a niche market as opposed to, um. A product which everyone would probably buy. We can't. We just don't have the manpower for it. Uh, Mark Antonio, yes, we have a website. Uh, fucking up. here, I'll. Let me link it to you. All right, there we go. Okay, so parang wala nang tanong. Uh, I will. Ah, thank you, Mario. Um, well, thank you for your feedback. If you if you like hearing about stuff like this, I don't mind doing it. Uh, in Nasal, I used to be asked to anyan, to be anyan. Those I used to do like these these talks for business students to inspire them to begin their own business hell it wasn't even related to law school or or um or literature but i did it anyway yeah i'm a i'm a if you if you pay me to speak i can talk about anything and i'll try and make it interesting so thank you for your input uh if you like this kind of content we'll we'll do more of it more personal stuff okay so, uh, I don't want to keep up everyone too late. It's already 9.20. I was really planning this only for like 30 minutes. But uh, thank you for humoring me. All right. So, let's do the gaming. Sh let's go do the gaming stuff. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. You need to be able to see from afar. There we go. All right. All right. So, I'm not going to... Usually, I use this keyboard, but... Right now, I'm more comfortable with the K70. All right, first thing is, all right, all right, okay. All right, first thing we need to do is, the game with three monitors, you need to ask yourself, are you going to use all three monitors for gaming or are you gonna use them for multitasking? So everyone here in the channel, they wanna they wanna see what um, uh, what all three monitors can do with the RTX 3080. So let's begin. So the first step is, and this is the this is the problem lang. Right, uh, let me let me. The first step is you need to convert it to uh, gaming. All right, let me. See, this is the problem with my with just using a cell phone. You should not focus. So you go to NVIDIA control panel. It pops up here. And then you need to press span displays with surround. And then you press apply. And then ah, it will tell you Tama ba to? monitor 2 and monitor 3. Male. We need to move this here. Otherwise, it will be cut. So you move it there. So now, tama, two, one, three. Two, one, three. And then you press uh, enable surround. All right, and then there we go. We have enabled surround. Now, um, okay, all right, cancel. All right. So actually, it's very disorienting to do this every time you just want the game. You know, problem ako. 
uh, I'm going to minimize the YouTube channel. And then ngayon, ito yung problema ko. Pumangit na yun yun yung wallpaper ko. Like, it was so much nicer now. But now it's just like this just like this gigantic ass um, uh, thing. <laughs> I liked having it three way. And then now uh, the taskbar is now divided. It's no longer divided, it's just one there. Dati, go normal lang. I would have a taskbar on each, which is more practical. So really, uh, gaming on this thing is really awesome, but it's not practical. And then you have to do this every time. So after you're done gaming, I need to revert it back to normal. Okay. So, all right, all right there we go. All right. So now we will begin with. I don't, I don't, what, okay, wait. Let me check the. Why? Okay. I don't know if I'll be able to read the chat. Like, sobrang late yung font dito. So, uh, apologies in advance if I can't read. So, uh, what I'm gonna do in lang is I'm gonna play one game, and then after that I'm gonna double check to see uh, if the, anyone in the chat asked me for something. All right. So, uh, let's do Battlefield first. Battlefield is really cool on this. Let's I mean, origin Battlefield 5. All right. So uh, to recap, you need to plug everything in, then go to NVIDIA control panel if you're an NVIDIA card, and you need to select all surround. Then you need to get into the game. And then when you're in the game, you need to go into that game settings and change the resolution there as well. Actually, nakakainis. There are too many steps. Okay. All right. All right, it's loading. Uh, it's a bit laggy. I mean, like, even with an RTX 30, what am I? 3080, uh, to power three. Three 360 hertz monitors and a triple A game. Uh, talaga, I'm stretching the limits. Uh, hi, tagal. Ayan. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right. So now we just go to. Wait. Okay. All right. So then we go to options. We go to. Um, You go to video and it's set na pala. Okay, 5760 full screen, one monitor. There. Take along, guys. Let me just change the cell phone setting. Okay. Just check Discord to see if uh, things are working by itself. Exit full screen mode para makita comments. Ah. Full screen comments. All right. So here we go. Here we go. Okay, we're doing it. Okay. Um, so I guess the audio, I'm just going, ayan, 
Let me see if this audio is working. Para my sound naman. Okay. All right, there we go. All right. So my favorite game on um, Battlefield. Oh, by the way, ay, teka lang. Yung frame rates bumaba. Oh, wait, no, 360 hertz. Okay, let's do this. Uh, multiplayer, uh, advanced search. I always play Breakthrough. I think Breakthrough is the best. Okay, so we're joining a match now, a uh, breakthrough match. Uh, okay, wait, let me get rid of this gimbal. Uh, okay. Why is there, <laughs> there? I'm watching the stream and find there's a breathing sound. Why is there, <laughs> there? I'm watching the stream and find there's a breathing sound. Why is there, <laughs> there? I'm watching the stream. And find... Oh. All right. I skip skip mm, there's no audio for the game testing testing properties corsair headset naman eh all right, okay, I'll just talk then. Ito. Oh, we already lost. See, that's my, that's my problem with Battlefield. Sometimes I join a game, and then it takes a long time to get in. And then after that, I really, I, I have to wait for another game because I, I lost already or I won. Oh. Hmm. Okay, guys, hold on. We're almost there. It's actually really cool uh, playing with Battlefield. I think the colors are. Okay, guys, hold on. Uh, I think the colors are more vibrant. Ugh. Kaso lang nyan. Medyo matagal lang yun nyan yung yung loading. Here we go, here we go. Skip, skip, skip. Uh, my head is blocking the screen. Heat up the Okay, wait. Alright, if you guys don't mind seeing my bald spot, I'll I'll bring up the tripod hype. This is the best I got. All right, so I'm jumping. Uh, hmm. Hmm. 
해봐도하나니오피엄코카레I said, become experts. All right, I'm just gonna shoot some Nazis now. Uh, so right now, this is uh, pretty fast. It doesn't look fast though on the stream though. Uh, you can in. You can, you can watch a better version of this in the video that I'm gonna release. But uh, yeah, talagang the shots are better there. Here, cause I in. It's um second hand because of the wait. Oh, oh, damn! Boom! I'm not even trying. Oh. Come on, come on, come on! Ah, shit! Oh man, oh man, oh man. If I don't kill him, I'm gonna be so upset. Where'd he go? Yeah! Hmm! Okay, I knifed someone. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Oh, okay, okay, go. Cool. Alright. Okay, wait, reloading. Oh, look at the, let's let's look at the fire. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that fire. Oh, oh shit. Hold on, wait. Someone shooting at me. Okay, hold on. Come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Ah. Grenade. After Battlefield, I'll do one game of uh, COD and maybe Flight Sim. Flight Sim, actually, well, no, I'll do Flight Sim next after this. All right, so. You must have a colorful map, it's very grayscale. All right. All right, so I'm having, I'm a light machine gunner. Nah, this one I can't shoot unless I'm prone. Oh, oh, hey, there's a bad guy there. Come on, come on. Okay, right, did my job. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. So my, <laughs> actually to be honest, it looks cool to have three monitors, but ang hirap talaga. Like I, I do not look at the other monitors. I am only looking at the at the at the the monitor in front of me because I just don't have, I don't have eyes like a like a like a bird that I can I can that everything registers now. It's just it's just cool. It's just really cool to look at, but very impractical to game, especially in first person shooters. It's almost useless. I think it's a handicap not to use three. However, one monitor, uh, one of these RNG monitors is really amazing talaga, in terms of color quality, if you can see it lang, uh, closer up in person. And so, I'm saying this because uh, I'm not going to tell you that the best way to game is to get three very expensive monitors. Instead, I will say that the best way to game is to get one very expensive mon monitor and not three. So I won't finish this whole game. Try along, then after I'll check out the. Oh damn! I'll check out the chat to see if anyone is uh, in disagreement with how the stream is going so far. 
However, so far I haven't died yet. Oh, I'm leading pa. 5-1. Number 2 ako. Alright, since I'm leading up, ah, okay na to. Alright, what's that? Oh shit, we already won. Oh, lame. Alright, next game. Alright. Alright, the problem with this is you can't also skip. Uh, parang anin, based on my iPhone here, uh, the stream looks a bit washed out. I blame the game because the map is also just gray. But they have like this one map, and nah, it's just full of. Um, it's in the Netherlands and it's just full of flowers. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, let's do flight sim. Oh, someone is saying, well, that was too easy, not balanced at all. I agree. Look, I'm playing with three monitors and I outranked all of them. I guess they also really suck. Oh. Oh man, this lag, this onion, this this onion, this um, this loading time is crazy. Inga, yeah, that's another problem with having three very very expensive monitors. Let me see a different angle to see if that will be better. Okay, next game. Oh. Hmm. So if you're just joining us now, uh, right now we are. De I'm sh I'm demonstrating what three ROG monitors with 360 hertz can do. Uh, I just finished playing Battlefield Five on it. And it's um, it's a really fun experience visually to see everything happening, but I wouldn't say that it is a fun way to play. It's one of those it's one of those things that you want to do. He wants, I don't know, a month, but not to do it regularly. I I, I can't see myself enjoying playing first person shooters this way. It's just not. <laughs> It's just not feasible. Like um, I'll end up quitting early because I'm tired. All right. So uh, let me check out the comment section. Dyna Quest ata yun. Lo share ko lang may nakita ko na GTX 1050 Ti for eighteen thousand. Wow. Bawal ka bili CPU ng walang kasamang motherboard eh. Ah, tu anin? Uh, Revin John, nice to see you as usual. Uh, as you know, in Hardware Sugar, that is not our policy. Uh, in Hardware Sugar, you can buy whatever CPU you want. You can buy whatever mobile you want. And just to highlight the sacrifice that we are making when we buy from the supplier, kami yung forced to buy a pair. We need to buy a pair just like Regular regular consumers in DynaQuest who need to buy also a pair, either a CPU and motherboard. Kami, sometimes the customer just buys a CPU from us and then we're stuck with the motherboard. But when we bought it from the supplier, it's a pair. So we are taking on that risk also. As opposed to the consumer, you guys taking on the risk. We take it on. Okay. All right. Next is... Sort up. Long, long reminisce. All right, next game. Next game is flight sim. All right, so flight sim uh, is you know I'm not an expert in this game at all. However, it's just really cool. And ito talaga this I, this I think is this is the only I think this is the best way. This is the best way to experience flight sim, not through one ultra wide monitor, but with these three super high refresh rate monitors, that is the best way for flight sim. And maybe this setup is also the best for racing games. So, however, for all the other games like uh, StarCraft 2, RTS, for first person shooters, three 360 hertz monitors spread out like this 
is just for the cool factor but not practical. For flight sim though, it is both. It is a cool factor and it's practical because you get to see all the all the all the all the all the controls. And well actually, in truth, Flight Simulator, unlike the other games, is really meant for you to just stop and look at the game visuals. There's no one to shoot there. There's no one shooting at you. Um, you're just there to experience what nature looks like as it is computerly rendered. And by the way, I think Flight Sim has the best uh, music soundtrack. All right, so now I'm, I'm I'm opening up Flight Sim and sobrang pangit yun in yung yung uh, resolution. Checking for updates. Actually, one major problem with flight sim is, parang there's always an update, and it's so it's so big. Like Call of Duty. In fact, nga, before I even started the stream, I tried to make sure everything was good to go. I, I thought I updated this kanina, but again, my update a lit grabe. So anyway, um, so uh, I. If you guys are only joining the stream, my complaint about having to use the three monitors as one ultra wide or the spanning, uh, the full span option is that an taming mong options na kailangan mo i adjust. There's the adjustment in Windows, there's the adjustment in the game, and then after you finish gaming for like an hour, kailangan mo i adjust a little mo sa Windows kasi. Ang hirap mag Microsoft Word or mag Google Chrome using just one massive window. It's maybe I don't fully understand how to make full use of it properly, pero I don't want to. Like I, I have no incentive to learn how to master one gigantic screen rather than three screens, which I find more practical. All right, so I'm updating right now. I have no idea how long this is going to take. Ano ne? Medyo mabilis naman. Yeah. Oh yeah, and by the way, uh, uh, you know, I can't seem to figure out the best way to fill in these uh, gaps. You know, I have tried my very best talaga to make sure that the, the screens are touching each other, but it, it's, more it's, more, it's more difficult than uh, one would think. I could probably improve on this, but not by much. Um, I think the best way to like, if you don't want to have any bezels, I mean, bezel breaks, is if, oh uh, yeah, come on, let's go, let's go, come on, how yeah. borrow, start from there, <laughs> all the way here, all right, uh, okay, come on, come on, anyway, um, Okay, almost there. I'll put you back on. Oi, pangat yung screen. Oh, see there. Sobrang pangit na ganin ng options menu. This is what happens. So now I have to readjust the settings. And it, it's kind of hard. So yan, sobrang laki ng options sa taas. And then I need to go to... Hell, I can't even see it. Uh, controls. Assistance. I think general. Ah, ito. Um, uh, camera. Graphics. Ah, ito. Graphics. I need to 5780 by 1080. Ayan, switch, keep changes. All right, yeah, that, that's good. I don't know why, but um, I'm throttled down to 60 frames per second for this game. All right, so uh, I'm just gonna, para nyan, we don't waste too much time. I'm gonna fly from Naia. If I remember how to fly, there are a lot of controls here. Let me see if I remember. We'll find out. 
So I'll fly from Naia to Baguio. Nino and Kino International Airport to Laguna na lang. Is there an airport in Laguna? Oh, Cebu City na lang. Yeah. Uh, Nino Mactan International Airport yan. Ayan, ito. Okay, I don't want it at 9.40 p.m. I want it at... Yan! 9.30 in the morning. Fly. Alright. Okay. Ugh. Okay, next time I do something like this, Anton needs to be the one to like to help film this shit. Okay, it's loading. Oh, man, there. That's the help focus on scale. I think this is the best angle that I can get so you can see more of the screen and less of my head. Yeah, okay. Okay, we're about to take off. Uh, I only learned how to fly two weeks ago, actually, so I'm kind of funny and rusty. Okay, we're ready to fly. Yeah. Boom. So, ayan. This is like... This is what... Three monitors, higher fresh rate, supposed to be about flight sim. Okay, disengage, parking brake. Okay, and then. Okay, how do I fly again? Ah, uh, okay. Here we go. Okay, and then I forget. How do I? Okay. Oh. Oh. So this is a uh, Naia. Okay, let me see if I can go to Glorietta. Oh, 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 close, close. Oh shit. All right, landing gear. Take off. Press G. Press F5 to retract flaps. Alright. Alright, so we are flying over. Alright. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so that's Naia. And let's see if we can go to South Super Highway. To increase speed during climb pitch. Okay, we're not. Besides, we don't. We don't crash there. Nineteen International Airport. Okay, done turning. Uh, ayan. Uh, that's south. That's an end. That's that's the Skyway on the left. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, Skyway left. And uh, let's head to Makati. So. Over there, that's Alabang, and that is the Skyway. This whole that whole stretch there. Yeah, it's Skyway. Yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, let me see if I can get BGC. I know I can get BGC. Oh, yeah, there. That's Bonifacio Global City on the right. Oh, wait, I'm crashing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I'm gonna end up crashing into BGC. Oh, there, that's BGC. All right, we're good to go. Oh, okay, I crashed. I overstressed the aircraft. Okay, let's do it one more time. <laughs> All right. 
Okay, okay, ready to fly. Okay, removing the brakes. Alright. The brakes. Eto. Okay, and then throttle. There we go. And then let's try going into Greta. Okay, I don't know what I did went wrong before. Yeah, you know, actually Anton lent me a joystick, but I haven't used it. There we go. Yeah, we got we got we got lift. We have lift. Take press G. You know, we have a we have a hardware sugar fan. His name is Rage. He's a he's a pilot. I should ask him. I should ask him tips on how to do this. Okay. To increase speed during climb. Yeah, okay, I think we're good. We're good. Okay, let's try to get to Goreta and then we can then we can crash. Okay, yeah. Alright, we got it. We're good to go. So uh and that's Manila Bay, I assume. On the left. Baha and then you dolomite. Oh, naka master alarm ulit ako. Oh. Reduce speed. Alright, this is not the most scenic of my scenic of flights so far. Alright, well anyway there, you can see you can see we're about to die again. Alright, so, is that a Ortigas? Oh no, this might be Makati. Oh, there we go. Uh, that's still the skyway. Ah, yeah, this is Maha This is the central business district. Oh, oh, oh. I just want to see Glorieta Mall. Take a ah. All right. Well, you guys get the idea. Uh, don't worry. I'll I'll do a better shot of it for the video. <laughs> okay. So that's battlefield and Battlefield 5 and Microsoft Flight Sim. And then let me just check on the, the chat, what's going on. Uh, you're welcome with the NZXT X53. Okay, last. All right. Well, COD might not be the best game for for this, but it still looks cool, and uh, at least it's fast paced. Hmm. Okay, Warzone. And I updated it, Kanina. Okay, last game for the night, guys. Sorry, Menjo underwhelming. That's a problem with just using a cell phone camera as your as your streaming camera. Full screen, 360 frames. Uh, Warzone. Ah! Damning egg, egg cinematics. I don't know, you know what I like? I don't actually like. You know what I like playing the most? I like playing Onion. I like playing COD multiplayer, yung gun, gun fight. 
Let's do one blueprint gunfight. NV surround 360 frames render resolution. Okay. Uh, every game, uh, every game as you can see has its own unique way on how to present the three monitors. Like Kanina, you could see that in Battlefield um, Five and Flight Sim, the opening cinematic, uh, the open at least the menu screen uses up all three monitors. But COD, when you're in the options menu. It's only in the main monitor. And then when you get into the game, it fills up. So apparently every game reacts differently to the several monitors and surround. Okay, loading level. Okay, I got a game. Uh, my teammate is Panasonic0901 versus Unmade Disquiet and some other guys, the OSR. Oi, Gulag Showers. I haven't seen this in a while. All right, come on, come on, let's go. Oi, what are you here? Oh, man. What are you here? I think NV Surround. See, this is the problem. It's not, it doesn't always work. Eh, uh, at least you can see an end. You can see an end what the, the ROG monitor by itself looks like. If you want to see the full, if you want to see like a really good quality version of this test, I just watch out for my video coming out tomorrow anyway. Ah. Mm. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'll just finish one match. Sorry, I won't just finish. I'll win one match, which is this match. Oh, my machine gun, pala. Okay, I thought it was just pistol. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, I take it. I'm just getting used to it. Kalahoy would have three more thirsty. Eh? Just SMG. Got him. Easy. Easy. Okay. First to five. Pistol. Pistol only, guys. Pistol only. Come on. Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh. Ay! Shotgunned me. Fudge. Hey, come on, come on. Come on, Mr. M. Den Panasonic. Though, actually, I prefer pistols over shotgun. Ah! Hurt. Oh, oh, gonna screw me. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, that's me. Okay, after this, if I don't win this, I'm out. Oh! Woo! When you're low below, you get in, you can shot man. Oh, yeah. 
Come on, let's go, let's go, let's finish this already. Two wins down. Keep up the pressure. Four four. Okay. I think I, I think it's first person to six, Deva. I think first team to six. Sorry, I think the only thing you guys can hear is my keyboard, no? <laughs> Fuck this, I'm going pistol. Oh shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Woo! That was one on two. One on two. Come on, come on. Check that out. Oh, great kill. Oh, I don't like sniping, so I'd rather use my pistol. Okay, is it match point at all? Okay, I think I'll try and do that again. Pistol lit. Got him. Oh, fuck. Oh, I got him. Woo! All right. <laughs> so you just always rush the snipers. That's the best way to win. Kung sniping battle shot. All right, guys. So this is uh, I'm about to conclude our uh, stream for tonight. Let me just check if there are any last minute questions. Uh, before we end the stream, I want to just showcase how to bring back the monitor to the normal settings. So you go back to NVIDIA control panel. Uh, here we go. And then we turn off. And then we press apply. And then, if we're lucky, things will just. Well, see, fudge. See? Now I have to go to set up multiple displays and I need to individually check them again. See, this is such a taxing process. Okay, and then I have to press apply. So you just imagine after playing one hour, you have to do this manually. And then usually, uh, the monitors are wrong. Look, look at the cursor. It vanishes. It then ends up here. It means the, it means the numer the numbers are off. So I need to move this there, and then press apply. This happens every time. Every time I'm trying to revert back to normal. Okay. Yes. All right. And then the last problem is uh, display settings. Uh, one of the one of the monitors is not is not is back to sixty. Again, see. Uh, all the other monitors are at three hundred sixty hertz, except number two. So I have to change that manually. So you know, it's not hard. It's just that taxing. That I have to do this every time so there now we are back to normal 360 hertz and everything so so raf baka mayroong better setup uh Kung sa monitors mo, suggestions in chat, lol. Ah, thanks, thanks guys. Alright, uh, right. now that's 360 hertz refresh really coming through with the unfair advantage. <laughs> uh, that's true, ITX Addict. You know, I have, um, I did an experiment. I did an experiment using my 165 hertz monitor versus one of the 360 hertz monitors just to see if having a higher refresh rate monitor improves my game and i already i tallied the statistics i played 30 games of the same match yun yung yun, 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 um, blueprint gunfight and i have the i have the scores i just haven't checked to see if talaga i improved because of the monitor but one of the uh, it was definitely one of the things i was planning and yes thanks for thanks guys for actually watching that horrible onion 
uh, horrible game. I'm just pointing the camera at my monitor. Hindi pa nga 360. Eh. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to. Ah, how much po sa inyo ang RX 6800? Uh, Ian, just check out our website. Uh, if it's not there, we don't have it. And if it's not there, and we'll probably get it eventually, I don't know what the price is because the graphics card prices fluctuate. All right. So uh, thanks, everyone, uh, for joining the stream. Uh, please keep an eye out for our upcoming coming video about the three monitors from uh, ASUS. And again, thank you for joining us on this rather different kind of stream. And I hope I didn't make you guys dizzy by moving the camera around so much. I did say that uh, this is going to be a more casual uh, streaming experience. So again, thank you for joining me. And uh, good night and uh, stay safe, everyone. Um, don't take any risks out there. Uh, okay, good night.